Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. This is Mr. Singh Neo, Chica Symbol, and I own Neo. Folks, I am in Fiji Islands. I have not sure if you guys watched the short videos. I am still on the vacation and heading out in a couple of days, but I want to make sure that I do my due diligence on Neo, share with you guys what is going on, what the heck is going on with Neo. But before we talk on the technical side, we got to talk on the fundamentals because fundamentals is something that we got to be making sure that it coincides with the company's growth development what is in take in order for neo to be a successful company which they are successful in terms of their growth level but not in terms of their operating costs so further ado let's talk about the fundamental the news and i want to show talk to you guys what is going on right so first thing not one of the great news is where J, uh, JP Morgan was hinting the electric EV uh, downgrade for NEO. Uh, the downgrade for NEO stock, uh, JP Morgan LS is dropping the shares to neutral rating to uh, an underperformed rating. And this is below in the consensus based on the whole options. NEO has been on the whole option for such a while right now. And it is an underperformed why we know that why and i'm going to discuss it a little bit on the video too so do not go anywhere because this is very critical the downgrade also cutting the firm's target from eight dollars fifty to five dollars per share potential to 14.5 percent drop to the prior closing price as well as analysis consistent prediction of a twelve dollars 25 cents so it was 12 25 then eight now it's five what going on right we knew what new issues are it is based on their operating expense it is pretty high and they're not making enough portable to in, in to succeed to future growth on that so in 2024 the revised revenue for um, RMB 373 billion is about 10% of street constants per the boom rent implies the sales forecast around 200 to 22 to 240 units higher than the our 191 units so there's a lot of things going on with neo right it was something to keep an eye uh you know rate down rating like this will not be a substantial and we know we're going to talk about how the market got closed on friday the other thing <clears throat> that we talked about neo is neo needs to sort out the strategy dash to 10 profitable to forecast the future right it's simple but i know it's only two two words right it's operating expense but what does operating expense looks like and that's neo has to figure it out on that and that i'm going to be very excited to see the earnings coming up on march 5th <coughs> and i want to make sure that key things to look at it i know investors are also looking at it to see how what's the plan right we know the problem is what's the plan because if investors feel sure on that they will be investing it and i think they have a beautiful plan a great plan coming up because Otherwise, the two major big well, such as Abu Dhabi's investment, would have never been played until unless they have a plan on that. So, Neo also needs to sort out strategic direction to expect what's profitable for for sale for future, and particularly in the second brand, um, LPL's international search in one day. Neo's management said that Neo 2022 earnings all electric vehicles aims to break even high on the fourth quarter of 2023 to achieve the profitability in 2024 for the first time. This is the time. This is the year where Neo is supposed to be making profit a lot, and this is something to be keep an eye. Neo is all testing to use an Android. Also, another news I want to talk about is 10 years testing Android's robots for production line. Very good. They're spending a lot of money in technology because they have a lot of tools and resources to do that, and they are making a different brand on it, right? So there's something to keep an eye, right? Neo is testing about a robots assembling line. This could help in the cost reduction of a label of a labor material doing that rather than a, a machine is doing it granted this is not always we want to see it we want people to get employed but sometimes as a cost to reduce this is could be the part leading towards that so something to keep an eye um, also when the earnings come in to see what else they're going to be talking about the last one um, is the delivery numbers I mentioned in my videos that delivery numbers has went up but it still needs to ramp up. I love to see about 70,000 vehicles delivering in the quarters rather than up to 50,000 because that is a boomerang, right? Because you want to have a lot of, lot of vehicles produced, but at the same time is the operating expense that Neo has to do it. So further ado, let's talk on the technical side because that is a key thing what happened on the five day. So my five day recap, clearly see that from $6.34 
we went to five dollars and 34 cents my account is also on red right now and like i said i am invested about thirty thousand shares if you have not watched my video go watch my two other videos that i have produced uh actually published and have talked about my portfolio my plan is to add another twenty thousand but now it has changed <coughs> to add another twenty five thousand i've got funds available which i'll <coughs> excuse me folks the hot over the weather in fiji it is not suiting me very well but it is i want to share with you guys is i'm my plan is to add another twenty five thousand shares but i'm waiting for the key point what does it gonna look like right it broke the five dollars and seventy three cents where was our major support level so what is gonna look right right so we're gonna go back all the way to six months right six months we're gonna talk about the two major support uh, resistance uh, support level right now and it is sitting at right at five dollars and seventy three cents and for unfortunately it is at four dollars and seventy three uh, thirty five cents but there's another one is sitting at five dollars and one cents right we're gonna have it we talked about this trend right here to see if there's a breakout absolutely it didn't happen got smashed so it is a downtrend unfortunately because we are trading below two moving averages which is my pink line which is right over here right and let me answer some videos um, so my pink line is my 200 day moving average sitting right here six dollars 45 cents the blue line is sitting at five dollars and 91 cents which is the moving average and you can clearly see that we are trading below that right so we are trading below those two moving average could be a double bottom forming at five dollars one cents which is my area to load up some shares five dollars and one cents is an area to a load of shares but there's a four dollars and 35 cents of a potential for coming down all the way to do that so i have two carriers to look at it doesn't mean i'm gonna invest in five dollars and one cents i gotta see the trend and it's coming on march 5th and it is not far away it's about a week off so we want to make sure that how i'm investing it based after earnings so most likely i will be adding after my earnings where i'm going to adding up the shares what we want to hear from mr lee william is about the operating expense and how they are going to control it what's the strategic plan in order to to maintain that and how neo is going to be profitable moving forward right and so something to keep an eye definitely is a downtrend on the six months so three months not uh, three months we got to go back again i want to show you something why it's not very um not very concerned but concerned at the same time it's because we are holding this in the thin line and you can see the the breakout which i expected to be a breakout or oh, unfortunately it didn't folks it did not break out because of so much negative news of coming on neo and how obviously and investors are not confident of neo to control the ex operating exp uh, expense which is resulted and you can clearly see that my blue line which was my 50 60 day ema sitting at five dollars 83 cents and we've been squeezing this gap right here we couldn't we break down now it is a another drop another drop is coming unfortunately is at five dollars one cents right something to keep an eye and the next is at four dollars 31 because the macd if i go back and look at my macd and i'm going to show you guys right here right we have a lot of green bars right here right so, sorry red bars love to see green bars but rsi is going to an oversold territory so something to keep in we might see a jump off or come back and go test it but it, it's going to be those moving beautiful moving average uh, on this one's where it's going to be that a massive resistance is sitting at five dollars 85 cents and six dollars and eight cents um to be break out on that folks what i wanted you guys to understand is that have a plan right have a plan what do you want to do what do you think on neo is and i know it is for people who have bought shares on double digits are tired frustrated upset right of neo how they've been doing it but you gotta have patience because if you don't have patience on this company stocks like that, you are not going to get gains on that. If Because if you, that was your plan, then you should be trading as a swing trader or as a trade trader on that. I am also a bold on that and so a long-term investor. My portfolios that I discuss with you guys, it is my long-term portfolios. And this is where I learn a lot of shares because I have a plan. I have that Neo is not new to me. I've been trading from 2018. I've seen the lows, the highs, the losses, the gains, everything with Neo. what this came through. And this is a pattern where I love to add shares because this is a beautiful price to low shares. This is a beautiful place to low shares. Yes, I can see it coming below at $5, unfortunately. Yes, I can see it because there is not. But if the earnings comes with the great news, Neo can go back to $9 easily on that because of the investors feeling assurance how Neo is going to control their operating expense and how they're going to be... Um, 
be maintained and do that and then the first quarter earnings comes out you'll see a major change on that so something you buy the dip you sell at the highest price right so that's simple as that on my um, and i'm not a final advisor i'm just talking about my due diligence and my technical analysis that i've done it on new on that folks <coughs> sorry um, i'm still having a little bit cough on that but i want to make sure i share with you guys and one month i'm gonna quickly before i let you guys go it still stays the same. You can clearly see that we broke down these two main my risk support uh, risk support level right here, and definitely five dollars and one cents is gonna be the next one sitting right here, folks. I'm gonna let you guys go. Next video is coming up when I'm in the United States and will be on Tuesday, so stay tuned. I'm gonna see how the market does on that because I'm still finishing up my earnings coming up, so I'm very excited. I know Neo is gonna produce some great numbers in terms of how they're gonna maintain those costs and it's going to be moving towards a different direction the sectors are shifting you can see how ev sectors have been doing it they've been going at roller coaster right even though it's shifting towards in the, in the nice in the uptrend but you see a roller coaster up, up and down on the five day trend it's not constant basis but this is the time to low shares in my books right and, and I'm not saying you have to do it right now but this is the time you buying at a discounted price and this waited my goal is to have neo to sell at fifty dollars yes folks even if it takes five years or plus i'm happy to wait on that long because i have a plan on that <coughs> and i've seen your time and time i would have produced on that folks i'm gonna let you guys go before i waste more more of your time uh and you know keep talking about neo because this is one of my favorite time uh two of my favorite stock to invest on and uh definitely next video is coming on tuesday but keep an eye there's some great news came out go ahead and you know um, go make sure you guys understand what I'm talking about and understand that this is for a long run this is not for a short run on NEO but this is a painful time when you are holding shares right now my I'm on active too right I am on active which I'm gonna show on my next video how much value I'm down and what is my plan to average it out granted NEO it is a high performing stock is gonna be happening it's a 10x I believe on the 10x stock and it's gonna happen because I've seen it many, many times. So folks, stay tuned for next video coming up, right? Nothing more on the technical side, still to keep an eye is $5.01 and $5.53 is the next resistance. So thank you for watching, take care.